In this part, I'm introducing the revenue recognition for the long-term contractor. For most business, their operating cycle is shorter than a year. For example, the Walmart, its operating cycle probably take days, months. For some business, it may take years. For example, to build a tower or build a cruise, it may take years. So how to recognize the revenue for these long-term contractors? Uh, there are several methods. Uh, one is percentage of completion methods. And these methods will use the costs to determine the revenue recognition. The idea is revenue and the costs are mostly matched. For the long-term contract, the expense can be estimated beforehand. There is an agreement for the construction of a bridge for $5 million. And this construction takes three years. The contractor has to prepare their financial statement every year. So how to report these $5 million in the next three years? Every firm, the firm can estimate their costs. And these numbers are actually available from the engineers. But first year, one and a half million. Second year, two million. Third year, half million. So this is uh, distribution of the expenses or costs in the next three years. And total is $4 million. And each expense divided by the total expense $4 million, we can get the degree of completion. We can think this way. In the first year, the project will be 37.5% complete. In the second year, another 50% complete. In the third year, the rest 12.5% complete. And we use the degree of completion multiply the $5 million. We can get the revenue. And the difference between the revenue and expense is the gross margin. The total of three actually just equals to the total contract price subtract the estimate cost which is $1 million. $4 million expense is estimate, just like a budget. It can be changed. If there is any change, we are going to make the change in that year and the following years. Following the example above, so this example is just a little bit different. The first year is the same. The only difference is the budget expense increase 200000 Increased 200,000 will change the degree of completion of next two years, including currently. And this basically only change the revenue recognition of the next two years. And it does not affect the first year revenue and expenses. Contract must adjust reported income in current and future period, not retrospectively restate the income for the prior period. Next method is complete contract methods. Basically, just recognize the revenue when the project complete. So for the same example, there will be no revenue and expenses recognized in the first and two years. If it is complete in the year three, the contract will recognize $5 million revenue and expense $4 million. There are some criteria regarding the two different methods for the long-term contractors. So the percentage of completion is not allowed if there is substantial uncertainty regarding the total cost incurred. That means we cannot get the reasonable estimate costs. So the revenue recognition will not be credible, reliable. Complete contract is preferred when the duration of the construction is short. If it takes too long, this will also make the information less useful. It will have negative impact on the firm's earnings quality. There are some other factors.